Okay, I've got the Yukon Super Jack here, and I got a fire going, and I want to set the draft. I uh, purchased the Dwyer manometer. I've got the Dwyer Mark II manometer, uh, which is recommended for this furnace. And I got a good fire going here. It's uh, Thanksgiving week, 2010. Um, I'm in the mountains of southwestern Virginia. I'm at 3,100 feet. And there you can see my installation a little bit. Um, I have a heat pump here normally to keep the pipes from freezing in the winter time, but I tie them in parallel. Um, there's four dampers that I had to install in order to keep the heat out of my heat pump. But anyway, I do have a fire going uh, tonight. Actually trying to heat the house up. I'm going to turn the second the secondary heat exchanger there off. But I'll show you the fire. Got a nice fire going there. I've got um, some locust that's... Uh, we have a lot of yellow locusts here, black locusts, same same tree, um, and we burn a lot of locusts, uh, hickory, shagbark hickory, sugar maple, uh, beech, lots of American beech. So we're, we're fortunate to have good hardwoods here. I've got a couple hundred acres of trees, and uh, it's not hard to find firewood. But anyway, um, what I wanted to do here tonight is to, um, to show... I noticed that the uh, the Yukon uh, website really you, you know doesn't have any videos or YouTube videos to look up how to um, set the draft manometer. So I wanted to show you um, how this how this deal works. And I I've already set this, but I'll go through it again. Um, once again, I have the Yukon Super Jack. Got a big old fire going here. My house is about 3,000 square feet. Got a great installation. The local installer did a good job for me. As you can see, I drilled a hole there. Um, the hole needs to be between the uh, barometric draft and the and the stove. So I drilled it right there in that that uh, silver piece, and um, I started small with a drill bit and work my way up. It's a 7 30 seconds, 7 30 seconds inch bit. Uh, slightly smaller than a quarter inch bit that would allow me to put the uh, the tubing that came with the Dwyer manometer uh, through the hole. So it was a 7 30 seconds inch bit. The draft is supposed to be set for minus 0 0.03 inches water column. I can't get mine that low. I don't know whether it's my altitude or my setup or what, but I have a uh, my my chimney is a, uh, a six inch flue, but it's a rectangular. It's a terracotta lined uh, block flue, and um, it's actually six. I measured it recently. It's six and a half by six and a half. I'm thinking about putting a oh the blower just shut off. I'm thinking about putting a um, stainless steel liner down it. I won't be able to put an insulated because I don't have enough room, but I think I can put a stainless steel liner down there. Um, I wanted to show you my, this is the fresh air. I've got an 8 inch uh, flue, 8 inch thimble, uh, terracotta thimble coming in. and I ran a piece of 8 inch pipe down right to the base of the furnace. So there you go there. Now here's my manometer set up and I apologize for the fan blowing right next to me. I'm standing right next to the stove. Maybe I'll move away a little bit be easier to hear but um, the Dwyer manometer um, what you do you take this the zero set knob right here at the at the lower left and you turn that all the way counterclockwise to the left until it stops and then you turn it to the right three turns and then you take your 
and that kind of that kind of gives you a mid range for your uh, your dial setting. Then you take the oil and you add it in this hole. And I had a full bottle of oil, so you can see how much I ended up put. I had to remove a little bit, but I put in about a third of the bottle here. The oil it's this it's a certain kind of oil with it have to have the exact specific gravity. I forget what it is, but it has to be this that oil. And you there's a little bottle of it that comes with it, and you put it in this hole right here, and you know it's got a a uh, level bubble level there on the bottom and you try to get that as level as you can and start adding the oil and it'll 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 come in from the left and as you can see you fill it until it gets until it gets to zero and if you overfill it says in the instructions that you can use a pipe cleaner to dab some out I took a paper I did overfill mine I took a paper towel and turned it and dabbed a little bit up but anyway you fill it you get as close to zero as you can and then you take the knob here the adjustment knob and you can turn it right or left and, and zero it okay and once you get it get it zeroed you're ready to do your measurement um, I took I don't know if you can see this I took it's a, it's a it, the, the rubber hose has two uh, two parts to it it's got one mark with a red line on it and I, I connected that to the high pressure setting on the left and I left the other one open to atmosphere because what you're measuring you're measuring the draft the barometric pressure in the draft and you're, comp you're measuring it against uh, atmospheric pressure so I hooked the red one to the left so let's see what we get here all right, so really what I have, I've got the manometer pinned to the wall here, just holding it by my, with my hand. But you can look, it's pretty close to level. And so what I do is I, I hold it here with, with one hand, I'm trying to hold the camera as well. But, um, and then feed the, uh, the tubing into the draft so let's do that and as you can see I got the meniscus pretty much right on zero now I can adjust that this this zero set here knob I can turn it slightly I mean that's pretty much close. That's pretty much right on zero. I got the meniscus right on zero. So I'm gonna put the tubing into the draft and see what we get. Got the meniscus on zero and then I'm gonna insert the rubber tubing into the into the into the flue okay, proximal to the barometric draft regulator between the BDR and the furnace and measure the pressure. So here we go. Okay. Minus 0 0.04. It's trying to be more, but minus 0 0.04, that's as good as I can do today. So, being at 3,100 feet with wind and all the atmospheric conditions today, minus 0 0.04, but that's pretty close.